welcome back to the last task of this uh, series that is learning C with the help of examples in this week we will be covering uh, pointers in detail okay so let's take the first first task the first task is very simple it is basically to add two numbers but but with a slight twist we have to use pointers here to add the numbers okay so we are not allowed to add the numbers directly okay so let's start with this and I will introduce you how to use the pointers right so let's begin so for to start with uh, I need to have because I want to add two numbers I would need to have two variables a and b right and I want to save the sum so I would be needing sum okay so I have declared three variables now uh, before I start with pointers you should understand what is pointers right pointers is basically a variable which stores address of another variable right now the type of pointer will depend on which type of address it's uh, which type of variables address it's going to store right so if the pointer is going to store an integer uh, variables address then the pointer should also be of type integer right if it's a float then the pointer should also be float right so that is very important so let's declare two pointers to uh, store the addresses of a and b okay now you may ask why this right so basically uh, uh, we are going to store the addresses of these two variables and instead of accessing directly these variables we will be accessing through their addresses okay so we are going to access the values not directly but through their addresses so for that first we have to declare two pointers right so the type of the pointer should be int right then let's call it pa and pb okay now if you look at this right now this is not a pointer this is another two variables of type int okay now what makes this pointer is the star in front of it okay so if you simply add a star in front of it this makes this pa a pointer whereas this pb is currently not a pointer okay it's a normal variable right so if you add a star over here also this will also become a pointer okay so basically this is very important so whenever you want to uh, de uh, declare a pointer you should always have uh, a star in front of it okay and it is not mandatory that it should be next to it it is uh, it is possible that some of you may do this okay so this is also possible or some of you may even try this right this is also possible right so basically the idea is it uh, the there if there is a star in between uh, the variables name and the declaration type then that will be called as a pointer okay so once we have declared two pointers next is we have to assign an address to that pointer right now to do that it's very simple let's take pa and if i do equal to a now if i do this this is not valid why because uh, value of a will be stored inside p of a but that is not what we want we want to find the address and we have already seen when we use the scanf command whenever we want to extract the address we just add a and sign in front of it okay so in pointers these two operators that is the star and the ampersand sign is very important in handling pointers right so with the star uh, we uh, the star has two purpose during the declaration the star uh, is used uh, for declaring the pointers and also there is one more use we will see in, uh, uh, in the program later on right and the ampersand sign is used to extract the address of a variable right so we have extracted the address of a similarly we will be doing it for b so address of b so now i have the addresses pa and pb okay so now let's begin the programming okay so now let's begin first with uh, a simple printf and let's call it adder right and after that i will 
do a printf and ask the user to enter a and b together right and there i will do a scanf using percentage d comma percentage d and the first one will be address of a and the second one will be address of b okay so i have this right next i can do sum okay so if i did not have any pointers then i could have done this right a plus b right so it is that simple right so this will give you the addition but i have to use pointers right so to use the pointers i will replace these variables by the pointer variables p a and p b okay but now if i just add these two together it will add the address of a plus the address of sorry this is b so it will add address of a and address of b that is not what we want we want the value at address of a and value of address of b to be added right now to extract the uh, value at a particular address we have to use the asterisk okay so this is very important to understand the use of asterisk and the use of ampersand sign okay so the asterisk has two purposes the first purpose is during the declaration it is used to declare a pointer second it is also used to get the value in front uh, of a pointer okay so whenever you want to get the value at a pointer's address then you use uh, this star operator right and ampersand sign as you know it extracts the address right so once i have this then obviously the result is simply i can get it from sum is equal to percentage d comma sum right so this uh, finishes the program we can run it now we can take 4 and 5 as the two inputs a and b so a will be 4 b will be 5 if i enter i get the sum as 9 okay so you can see we have not used the variables directly but we have used the address and we can uh, do the addition right and also since we have the address stored over here okay so we could have easily done this okay so we could have easily done this and still it could have worked because because in scanf it ex expects address of a and what is p of a p of a itself is address of a right so i have simply replaced p of a over here and p of b over here and you get the result right so uh, i can just run it again to show you that this will also work you can see it still works right so this is the introduction to uh, pointers uh, so we have done this program with the help of pointers we will see a few more problems uh, programs uh, on pointers which will be a little more advanced than this okay so see you in the next